talk to me about the, uh, the potential for ecotourism with what is standing uh, behind you there, this, this gaping hole, the ragged edge at top of the rock. What's the potential um, for drawing tourists to this spot just to look at these formations? Yeah, Eric, kind of let me give a little historical perspective. Uh, in May of this last year, the sinkhole uh, took place. And we had a couple of things that took place related to the sinkhole. It stabilized and we knew that we could fill it in or that was one of the recommendations related to the uh, natural resources community. But John kept thinking of that, the, the John L. Cave that he discovered that National Geographic helped him explore with all the beautiful stalactites and stalagmites with it. And with that water gushing from the sinkhole right over into the John L. Cave, 2,000 uh, feet away, John said to himself, there's got to be something there. He's a, he's a spelunker, he's a caver, and he loves to be down under, so to speak. And so what he really wanted to do was to start a treasure hunt, an adventure, to find what lays between here and what lays between John L. Cave, that 2,000 feet away, because there could be a gigantic cavern, it could be just a small crawl space, but something is there because of the water. But in the process of all of that, when they started digging here at the sinkhole, he started finding these amazing rock formations uh, that are here. Rock formations. He just loves those formations. So what we're looking at here, and as you look at, we see this because of the rock formations that are here, the potential that is uh, to find that giant or gigantic cavern between here in the John L. Cave. And then you look at the uh, Lost Canyon Cave, and with what we've got here at the top of the rock to be a truly worldwide uh, tourist destination. And so with the formations we've got here, these are unusual structures that you don't see uh, every day. So, and they have uncovered these, and I think there'll be more of those structures to come. So I think it does provide the opportunity uh, for people, one, to see something that you don't normally see because it's underground, and the, kind of the magnificence of, of what the geology is and rock formations and kind of what happens underneath the surface. And there's exploration to hopefully find unique stalactites, stalagmites, and heaven really hopefully be an amazing place to come see what's made Missouri the Cape State. And the